Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. It is boss fight studio time. Hero Hex. Bang! It is Thursday, the twenty second of June, twenty twenty three, and we're looking at this Hero Hex Tarzan Lord of the Jungle figure, which came out, I believe, earlier this year or late last year. I just managed to pick it up the other day. Um, I did review Jane Porter uh, previously. Fantastic figure, and now I'm really happy to have Tarzan too. Let's uh, have a quick look at it. look at this bad boy. Does look very very nice. If you like sort of content, you want to see it as soon as uploaded, no longer needing to wait one week, three weeks, two months, etc. Sometimes even longer. Please consider joining the Patreon. It's absolutely free for seven days, and after seven days, you can decline to join or remain there further, which means it didn't cost you anything whatsoever. So it's worth doing. Link in the top right of your screen now, and also in the video description below. Okay, let's get a quick look at this box and this artwork and this figure looks really, really cool. Nice copy. He's got like a like Conan the Barbarian head sort of going on there. Body's good. It's a bit more bulky for Conan. Lovely artwork has to be said. Then on the back we've got the uh, information. I stick it on this side so the awesome actually his logo doesn't get in the way. And you can pause that if you want to read it. And shows you there with Jane Porter. We look at both those together in the little well. Very, very nice. Any date on this one? Yeah, 2020 was before 20 is after 2020. Okay, so I am gonna pause this unbox Tarzan, which won't take long because it's a slide out card at the back, and set him up and we'll get to this back in an instant. Stay tuned. Okay, here he is, and as I keep saying got lots of figures he does look fantastic. Accessories, he comes with six pairs of additional hands. You get two pairs in the top layer. So two open and two fists. And you get two more pairs on the base, which are gripping hands in the bottom layer. Very nice base as well. And then he also comes with a dagger, which I've put in the sheath, which he has attached to his waist. And this is one of the things I was you know, critical about the Jane Porter, fantastic figure. There's nowhere to stow the dagger, at least Tarzan has somewhere, and he comes with the spear. Now the dagger and, and the spear appear to be appear to be the same as the Jane Porter ones, but that's no problem at all. Let's get a close look, Let's bring him in. He is a proper decent looking figure. Very nice. Good muscularity. The face is not bad, pretty good. There aren't even actor, which actor? I don't know. Can hold the spear very well, as we can see here. I'll launch that at some bad guy soon. Very, very nice. It's got underpants and the loincloth. And you see that the dagger is in the uh, little sheath here. If we take that out, we can see the dagger as well. Let's get a little focus going on. Very nice dagger. Okay, let's stand up straight. And very easy and fast to pose as well. Now, here is Jane Porter. We compare the uh, spears first of all. Yeah, they are identical spears. She's holding her dagger. And they appear to be identical daggers as well, which is not a bad thing because they're great daggers and great spears. Very, very cool. Okay, let's guys put this back in a Tarzan's sheath. They've both got the same sort of necklace going on as well, but his one's sort of hiding under his chin area. And his hair sort of keeping that necklace going up. That Jane Porter's one's uh, oh, different necklace. Sorry, hers is gold. There we go. Is there? Okay, let's get an idea of Tarzan's articulation. Let's go from head to bottom. Let's get the. Uh, there we go. Focus in. Left, right. Really good down and up, has to be said. And he's got a great side to side. I wasn't expecting that to be quite so good with the hair. 
shoulders all the way around to the sides he gets over flat which is fantastic bicep bend is where we may get our first issue if any it's that system where it sort of clicks into place one then two so you can't easily get an in between that holds well but never mind he does get 90 or a tad over 90 degrees he's got trunk he can turn he can can he do a dip he can't really dip or go side to side though there's nothing on the waist normally with the boss fight studio so just the trunk for the turn hips pretty good decent forwards back i do have a waist the knife doesn't weigh forwards backwards forwards is decent backwards is about that far any firm that is leg will split out to the side still okay uh, this is the newer design boss fight studio so we do get a five twist which is great double kneecap nice and tight that is looking very very good there which is fantastic and then one of my only real criticisms left of boss fight studio is there's no boot turn um, the advantage of no boot turn is it looks a bit more natural on the ankles good tippy toe dorsiflexation is amazing the disadvantage is it's harder to do some poses without being able to turn the foot now his foot should have a swivel there's the outside swivel and there's the inside swivel which is also important because if you're doing sort of legs wide apart you can get your feet flat on the surface so you can balance easier but no boot turn but never mind he is a really nice looking figure now as with Jane Porter, I shall not be using them as Tarzan and Jane Porter. They'll be joining my uh, my barbarian stroke, viking stroke, whatever warriors, my fantasy crew. So stick him there. Let's get an idea of his height. So in CM, he is 10, under 10 and a half. So he's just on the shorter side of the uh, modern monitoring scale figures let's tool him up again and stick him next to the Jane Porter to get a nice look at these two awesome figures together and they are really good Boss Fight Studios do the best highly detailed accessorized monitoring scale figures at a decent price now there are monitoring scale companies that do better figures but you're paying a lot more now looking for the best ones for cheap figures, that is because we're going to be uh, Jazzwares Fortnite, but they're becoming increasingly in difficult to find. And while they have great, the Jazzwares ones have great hip flexibility and articulation, they do lack in other places. Oh, they just look great together. She looks a tad taller than him. But never mind. Okay, so if I use Sigurd the Wanderer, another Boss Fight Studios, they'll be joining his sort of a crew. Get an idea of their size there. If I take a sci-fi, I will take a Star Wars Magnogard. Should be Magma, surely, but Magnogard. And he wants to fall over for some reason. Why, why, why? Is it leg on the street? Oh, he's just not going to want to stand up straight for me today. I don't know why he wants to fall over, his legs just do not want to pose the same. Nope, I won't use him. I'll use a big one, he's a Marvel... Cheap Marvel figure, and a skull, or scroll, sorry. And he is big, you can see, but still scales perfectly well. Good figure, I do like this Tarzan a lot, I'm glad I managed to get one eventually, and at a decent price. Him and Jane Porter look great in my sort of fantasy barbarian stroke or whatever. Raiders army have got planned. They've got a great long boat from as well. I'll put a link in the top right to that long boat, long boat review from Chat Maven and see that. Great figures. Great job again by Boss Fight Studios. They do some amazing stuff. Okay, it's awesome match toys signing out. So please like, share, subscribe, see you on the Patreon, link in the video description below. And also you can find links there for discount codes from the better wine eating scale sellers as well. And they also sell some other scales and other bits and bobs too. I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.